Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. And I have a confession to make. I know I've been talking about Spongebob a lot lately, but if I'm being honest, I'm actually not really a fan at all. It can't be! What? You said you weren't a Spongebob fan. Yeah, I did say that. I can't believe that after all these years, Everything I know is a lie. April Fools! Oh! Fools in April is the episode where Squidward plays a big prank on Spongebob on April Fools Day and takes it too far. This episode aired on April 1st, 2000 and is another holiday special, this time taking place on April Fools Day. <laughs> no way! Just like any holiday episode, this is often shown during the respective holiday. In this instance, it would be April Fools Day. However, in this case, this feels more like just a regular episode to me than a holiday special. Also, while this episode always airs in reruns on April 1st, this episode also comes on occasionally during the year. I will admit that this one does come on much less frequently than most regular 11 minute episodes. From what I've seen, it doesn't come on super often, but it's seen more times than something like episode 32, Valentine's Day, which is an actual holiday episode, but less often than episode 13, Pickles, which is also a regular episode. But ever since I was a kid, I always saw this episode on TV more often than just April Fool's Day. This episode is also another instance of the semi-common theme of Squidward being more polite to Spongebob than usual and shows that Spongebob's favorite holiday is April Fool's Day. And now with that little bit of nothing out of the way, let's watch this episode to see how good it really is and to get into the spirit of April Fool's Day. So the episode starts up and Spongebob wakes up Gary and states that they're moving from their current home and becoming peasants. He further states that peasants only eat mashed up clam shells and Gary starts to cry. I can understand why Gary's crying there. Spongebob's salting those mashed up clam shells and we all know what salt does to snails. Of course this was all an April Fool's joke and Spongebob gives Gary his food back. Spongebob goes down to the kitchen, takes out an extremely comedically big pitcher of lemonade, and prepares multiple glasses to drink. When he was finished, all the lemonade glasses were an April Fool's prank on himself and leaves for work laughing. Squidward sees Spongebob laughing and wonders why he's so happy. Come on Squidward, even if it wasn't April Fool's Day, he's still happy at least 90% of the time. And I know you know this. Squidward sees that it's April Fool's Day and realizes why Spongebob was so happy. He calls Mr. Krabs and says he can't come in. Mr. Krabs then states that at the Krusty Krab, there was an art dealer who wants to honor Squidward as Artist of the Month. When he arrives, he sees Spongebob and Mr. Krabs laughing and asked about the art dealer. Spongebob states that it was an April Fool's joke and Squidward then attempts to resign. Spongebob convinces him to stay and promises not to pull any more pranks on him today and Squidward reluctantly agrees. Throughout the day, Spongebob's pranks continued. First, an old lady asked for a fork and Spongebob pointed her towards a spoon. Next, a customer came to the register and placed an order. Spongebob distracted him, then turned around showing another face on his back. After that, another customer asked for a couple of ice cubes in his drink and Spongebob gave him only one ice cube. The latter made Spongebob laugh so hard, his tongue popped out of his mouth and Spongebob pranked him by saying his shoe was untied. But as the pranks went on during the day, Squidward got more and more fed up. Whoa. Spongebob laughed over the intercom and screamed, April Fools! And at this point, Squidward decided to get back at Spongebob by playing a much more elaborate prank on him. Squidward squirted mustard in the middle of a rope trap connected to an anchor and told Spongebob to clean it up. When Spongebob was in the middle of the rope trap, Squidward cut the rope, getting Spongebob's foot caught in the rope, flinging him around the restaurant. He landed in a pile of flower bags, flung around a bar multiple times, face planted into a wall, and into Bubble Bass's butt. Wait, since when is Bubble Bass actually purple? Spongebob hits the ceiling, and Squidward runs out to try to catch him. As Spongebob falls from the ceiling, Squidward catches him with a garbage can. He dumps Spongebob out of the can, says, April Fools! to him, and laughs, but Spongebob runs away crying. But Squidward says it was just a joke, but the customers are appalled by Squidward's prank since it was too extremely harsh to be funny, and leave. Squidward tries to say it was a joke, but nobody listens. Then he looks around and realizes this prank was much too big and elaborate and painful compared to SpongeBob's pranks which were small and harmless. 
I've been waiting a long time to say this, but that's not how we do an April Fool's joke. Squidward feels guilty and decides to apologize, but just saying the words sorry and apologize were too hard for him. Squidward goes to Spongebob's house to apologize, but doesn't hear Spongebob. Then he sees the Krusty Krab hat behind a rock and thinks Spongebob was there. So Squidward goes over to try to apologize, but he sees that it was Patrick who was digging and wearing Spongebob's hat for seemingly no reason. Patrick says that Spongebob was in the house and impressed. Don't you mean depressed, Patrick? Spongebob takes off the outside doorknob, forcing Squidward to play on his clarinet to get Spongebob to open the door. I thought Spongebob liked Squidward's clarinet music. Squidward tries to apologize to Spongebob, but he still can't get out the word sorry, and eventually his head explodes, so he decides to try other methods to say sorry. First, he tries writing a note and putting it in a bottle, but Spongebob said he doesn't have a bottle opener to open it. Then, he speaks through a can attached by string from a very long distance, but Patrick uses the string as floss. Squidward eventually apologizes through a bubble over his head, but Spongebob couldn't hear it. He walks away, but he's haunted by what Patrick and a random guy said to him. Then he thinks it was his mom who said he stinks, and finally breaks down and truly apologizes to Spongebob and says he likes Spongebob as well as being his neighbor, in addition to liking Patrick, Mr. Krabs, Sandy, Gary, and everybody else he's in contact with in town. Spongebob overhears this, and Swearer says that it's all true, but asks Spongebob not to tell anybody. Spongebob promises, but reveals everybody else in town was inside and overheard Squidward's apology, screaming, April Fools! to him. Squidward was flabbergasted at first, but then retaliated by saying he just indeed fooled them all and ran home laughing. Spongebob wonders what they'd do without Squidward, and the episode ends. So that was Fools in April, and now on to the part where I discuss my opinions. And I think this episode is horrible. April Fools! This episode is really good. This is definitely something worth watching around April Fool's Day. There are a lot of funny parts in this episode. Some of my favorite parts are SpongeBob's deep voice and giant pitcher of lemonade, the ice cube prank followed by Tom saying, YOU WHAT?! and SpongeBob crashing through Bubble Bass's butt. While we're on the topic, as a kid, I didn't even know this was Bubble Bass. Bubble Bass is normally kind of an olive green color, and he's more purple in this episode, so that's what threw me off here. Now looking at him here, I can very much see that this is Bubble Bass, just purple flavored this time. Unfortunately, this would be the last time he would make an official appearance in the show until he returns in episode 312, Plankton's Good Eye from season 8. Man, saying that stings a lot more than I thought it would. Additionally, I was also confused about Patrick's line about Spongebob being impressed from Squidward making him cry. If anything, I just assumed that was either Patrick's stupidity or a part that leads into this scene right here at the end. I also feel that Spongebob's laugh during the Krusty Krab scene goes on for a little too long. I'm not sure if the part with the tongue was necessary since Spongebob's April Fool's joke to the tongue was the shortest. Of course, it could have been a lot worse and the part where he laughs into the microphone would have been much longer which would make it much more annoying. Moving on from critical points, I also think that the scenes with Patrick digging and using the string as floss are pretty good. Squidward's faces when he tries to apologize are really funny too, especially the donkey face. Also real quick, I'm going to answer the question Spongebob asks at the very end. What would we do without Squidward? You'd be surprised. To wrap things up, I feel that this episode is really good. It's worth a watch around April Fool's Day, or if it airs scarcely on a random day that's not April 1st. It's another instance on how Squidward is a really good character. It works perfectly for being an episode focused on a holiday that's not treated as big a deal as holidays like Valentine's Day, Halloween, or Christmas, and for the most part, shows off how to and how to not celebrate April Fool's Day. Fools in April is a really good episode, and it's really nice for what it sets out to do. I also completely understand how Squidward feels about that art dealer prank, but of course it could be worse. You could be a biggest Spongebob fan like me, and there could be a specific season 12 episode that was excluded from the season 12 DVD for absolutely no good reason at all, and that same season 12 episode could be in danger of not being released on TV or even on Paramount Plus at all. Actually... What? What? Oh, please don't tell me it's true. Okay, I won't. Oh, thank goodness it's not true. Actually, it is true. 
What? I need to stop being so overzealous around these fools today. Hey. 